Hi, how are you doing today? I hope you know how important you are. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. If you are a subscriber, thanks for coming back and watching. Um, today we're going, I'm going to teach you how I'm going to make my wooden crates um, for my wall in a smaller version. Um, and I hope this has inspired you to uh, make something like this of your own. All right, so what you're gonna need with this project, sandpaper, your box, and I got this at uh, Michael's. Tissue paper, which I just used um, the stuff that you have in patterns, because I have an abundance amount, and some Mod Podge, and of course, a paintbrush. So let's get crafting. So your first step is to sand it all. And I'm just getting all the rough off. So the bigger ones that we are make that I'm making, um, I used a sander to do this, but this is just a small one that's going on my desk. So I'm just hand sanding and not getting as a lot. I'm just getting the edges and stuff like that that I think I need. The next step is you want to dust all of the stuff off that you did. You know, Sandy makes a lot of dust. And I'm just taking the paintbrush that I'm going to be using with the Mod Podge and dusting. Using that. I'm gonna get all of this sand, uh, the dust particles that are on my table off, because we definitely don't need those. Now here's where the fun begins. So this is Mod Podge, and I need to add some more to it. So I like to put just a thin coat. I'm gonna do these two first. And, and then the next step I rip. 
just lay it down. You press it in. So your hands are gonna get a little gunky, but that's okay, no big deal, right? If you happen to double layer, double layer. If you happen to leave space, leave space. It doesn't matter, whatever you wanna do. It's just a glorified Mod Podge, you know? And I like them overlapped a little bit, but that's just me. Doesn't have to. And then you're gonna take your Mod Podge and just brush over. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see, I probably And then you just continue that and I just do the inside of it because that's what's going to be seen the most. You can do the outside too, but I just, um, I don't.
Okay, so here is the result. <laughs> um, as you can see, some of the views were, you know, I normally hold these at and down and do them, but hopefully you guys got a good idea on how I do this. And it's still a lot wet because I did use a lot of Mod Podge. So we're gonna let this completely dry and then um, I'll see you here for part two. Thanks for joining me. If you like this, give it a, a thumbs up and think of subscribing. Thanks. Bye.